Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Quattro Minutes Machine. So for today's reaction, we're going to be reacting to Jenny May excludes her co-host from her wedding and Beyonce reaches out to Kerry Hilson to end feud, okay? So before we get started, if you are new here, my name is Jocelyn. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. Also, don't forget to comment any other type of um, videos you like me to react to. So I make sure I do so for you. Also, comment your thoughts on this video, okay? That I will be reacting to. Follow me on my social media platforms. That's Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, TikTok. The links will be in the description box down below. I have a reaction channel now. The link will also be in the description box down below. Don't forget to, you know, follow me on that as well. And, uh, yeah, let's get started. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Impressive channel. There are a couple of topics I want to talk about in this video. First, starting with the co-host from The Real, Jeannie Mott. Shout out to the Impressive channel. This is my second time reacting to one of their videos. And it always be some good tea, okay? Shout out to them. Hi, hey, Jenkins. Jeannie Mai recently opened up about her wedding on The Real. And I thought some of the reactions from the co-host were a little bit interesting and i'm going to get into that but first i want to talk about Jeannie mai's wedding a little bit now for those who don't know a few weeks ago Jeannie did get married to the rapper and entrepreneur jeezy they had a beautiful intimate wedding only their close friends and family were there and their wedding looked beautiful based off of the pictures i've seen they looked really nice i like Jeannie's dress i thought everybody was even reposting about it it was beautiful thought she looked beautiful and Jeezy looked dapper as well. They look good together. And you can tell that Jeannie actually loves Jeezy because the way that she talks about him in comparison to how she talked about her ex-husband, Freddie, is totally different. I mean, she even took on Jeezy's last name. And she didn't do that in her first marriage. She didn't take on Freddie's last name. So I thought the differences there is quite interesting. But it's clear that Jeannie truly loves Jeezy. And... I do wish their marriage well. Now, I want to talk about this latest episode of The Real because Jeannie did talk about her wedding on the show. And I thought the reactions from some of the co-hosts were rather interesting. When Jeannie was discussing the details of her wedding, their reactions were kind of dry. They weren't overly excited like they were when Adrian got married. Their reaction to Jeannie's wedding was a little bit different. And while Jeannie was talking about her wedding, you could kind of see the looks on their faces. They were grinning, but it didn't seem like they were overly excited. Lonnie was very quiet, and she had this plastered on smile the whole time, but it didn't seem genuine. It kind of seemed like she was trying to be polite. And the same thing for Adrian and Garcelle. They smiled a few times and grinned mostly, but... It just seemed like they were trying to be polite. None of them were overly excited about it. And I kind of feel the reason why they weren't excited is because they weren't invited to the wedding. Jeannie and Jeezy actually had a secret wedding ceremony and only their immediate family members and close friends were invited. Now, I could be reaching. Y'all know I do tend to reach sometimes. But I kind of feel like the co-hosts, especially Lonnie and Adrian, felt a way about not being invited because they are close to Jeannie. At least that's what I thought. But then again, like with this whole, you know, time, you know, that we are going through, the whole pandemic and stuff, most weddings have to literally be like restricted. I got married during the pandemic. I got married in September 9th. Hello, new wed, if you guys don't know. But um, yes, I got married on September 9th and it was really close friends and family only. Like, I only was able to, you know, bring 50 to 60 people, and that was about it. And even that, I don't think I met those numbers, because knowing, you know, I'm African, knowing how we are, you say, please come alone, they want to be like, oh, this person want to come. This was cause Just because of that, I even brought my numbers a bit down, so it was perfect. Some people weren't happy because, weren't happy because they weren't invited, but then again, I'm like, after the whole, you know, pandemic god willing i'm planning on having like a because it was just a court wedding i'm planning on having like a you know church wedding you know and then you know everybody can be invited to that but in the meantime i feel like with this whole pandemic you know numbers are restricted for everything and yeah if that was her choice i mean they shouldn't be mad like that just shows that they weren't really that close close you know they're probably close but not close close you know 
Because, you know, you got friends that are close, you know, you're cool with. But then you got, like, close, close friends. So, they probably didn't fall in that line. But, yeah, let's keep going. I do understand Jeannie and Jeezy were weary of inviting too many people because of COVID restrictions. and all Yes, it's like I'm reading into their mind. Like, impressive channel is like I'm reading into, into you guys' mind. Exactly. The whole COVID and... Plus, by the way, I don't, I think... There was even a time that if you had like a bunch of people gathered together and the police come, you, you could have gotten fined. It was that serious, especially when I got married, like in September. It was that bad. Like even Thanksgiving dinner, like you couldn't have a lot of people. So I understand, you know, I understand. Also, it seemed like the wedding kind of happened very quickly. So they decided to do a mini ceremony first, and later on they might do a bigger wedding celebration. But me too. Really small, and I understand why they did it. But I can understand why Lonnie and Adrian and even Garcelle may feel left out. Um, most people are gonna do that. Like they're gonna, they must, they're, like they're most likely going to throw a bigger party afterwards. They just wanted to, you know, get married. Like I'm in love with my man, and we've been. Since we started dating, we always said 2020 was going to be our date. I'm talking about since we started, like, dating. And it used to be a joke because he was, like, 2020. He just goes good together. And I was, like, 9-9, like, our anniversary, September 9th. It sounds so good. So we just put it together. We're like, okay, 9-9-2020. That sounds perfect. And then we just wanted to, you know, do what we, we you know, we promised each other since, 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 you know. So, yeah. And then after that, we can do the big one because they are friends with Jeannie and they weren't invited and they probably didn't know she secretly got married until big publications like People and Vogue did a cover story on the whole wedding. So Jeannie gave details about her wedding to other publications before giving details to her co-hosts. I mean, at least that's what it seems like because from watching this episode of The Real, it seems like the ladies had no clue about the details of the wedding. So I think the real reason why their reactions were dry is because they didn't get a chance to experience Jeannie's wedding. Now, when Adrian got married, the reactions were a lot different. The ladies were more excited because they actually were there at the wedding ceremony. Also, I want to mention the fact that um, you guys got to think about it. If she invites one person, the others will complain because, you know, it's three of them. She cannot just invite one and leave the other two. So she had to invite all three, and she and if she had like a restricted wedding, she just couldn't do that. They should just understand. I don't know. People just like they. I don't know how to think. You know, they don't want to be rational with certain things in life. But it's not such a big deal to me. And Adrian's wedding was very intimate. But tell me what you guys think in the comment section. Are you guys agreeing with me, or you guys think you know she should have invited them, no matter what as well she got married overseas in Paris Ooh. and she only had her close friends and family there too but guess who else was there her co-host Tamara Lonnie and Jeannie she didn't leave them out because she considers them to be her close friends as well so the reactions to her wedding was a lot different because all of the ladies got a chance to be involved and also Adrian gave the real a lot of exclusives so it was a big celebration, but Jeannie's wedding was actually done in secret, which is why the reaction wasn't the same. But like I said, I understand why Jeannie kept her wedding private because it probably was done very quickly and it's still not a good time to travel and meet up in large groups because of COVID restrictions. But I could also understand if the co-host felt a way about being left out because they're actually friends with Jeannie. So they probably thought that they would be invited, but... Understandable. But then again, they should also understand her. They weren't. And sometimes when it comes to things as big as weddings, people can feel a little funny if they're not included. Commercial time. Well, this one is non-skippable. So I'm going to let y'all get your coin. The impressive. my thoughts about it now on to the next topic i want to talk about the singer carrie hilson because recently she did an interview and she revealed that she came in contact with beyonce and they both resolved the misunderstanding that they had between each other 
Now, mm -hmm. if you don't know the history between Carrie and Beyonce, I actually did a whole video about it, and I would highly suggest that you watch this video to get full context of what happened. But just to kind of summarize it, Carrie's team leaked a diss track that she made against Beyonce, and it was called the Turn It Me On Remix. And this diss track did spark up a lot of controversy, and Carrie. Sorry, my dog is acting crazy. I think someone is at the door career because she went against the queen bee and after carrie dissed beyonce she did go through different struggles in her career she was blackballed in some areas in the industry and this typically happens when somebody comes against a major artist with a lot of connections a lot of people had affiliations and loyalty to beyonce so they didn't want to go anywhere near carrie and that's how carrie was blackballed in some ways also carrie went through a deep depression to the point that she didn't even want to make music anymore it was really bad for her for a long time but carrie did later yeah that's what this fan will do man they will make you be in such a dark place it's so crazy how someone else's opinion can make you feel oh my gosh that's what i'm saying please y'all be very aware of what you say to people and you know just be careful because you know you can hurt somebody in a way that you can never take it back, okay? On reveal on Out Loud with Claudia Jordan that she was forced to diss Beyonce because somebody at her label threatened to hinder her career if she didn't diss Beyonce. Now this revelation was very surprising, but it was clear that her label at the time was trying to create some feud between her and Beyonce, but unfortunately, the whole situation backfired for Carrie, and it did affect her career. When Carrie revealed this, I'm pretty sure... Y'all know the Beehive do not play. Like, whoever her label is, that's all her to do that, don't like her, because they know Beyonce's fan would drag you. <laughs> they would drag you to film. They would come for your neck. They will do their research and make you look crazy. We all know that. Pretty sure that Beyonce became aware of what was said, and this probably prompted her to come in contact with Carrie. And Carrie talked about connecting with Beyonce during her interview with Persia Nicole. It's been some years since all of this Beyonce drama and stuff like that. If you had the opportunity to collaborate with Beyonce, would you maybe do something? If you, even if it's not on the record, like in a movie or whatever, maybe. Yeah, sure. You know, um, absolutely. Uh, she she actually has introduced herself. Uh, it was a gracious moment. I appreciated it. Um, I feel like she understood what had happened, what had transpired, and um, there was a bit of healing in that moment um, when we met. And um, commercial. Impressive, get your coins, sis. Get your coins, sis. Get your coins, sis. There we go. I think I take her as a very intuitive kind of soul, as as am I. And um, yeah, I, I think that uh, it would be a probably a very fun experience to do that um, if she were open but yeah I do feel like she understood what that was all about so yeah she's she's amazing I've yeah, always felt that way that's the truth of the matter but no one will believe that <laughs> I believe it I feel the energy I'm a big energy reader and I feel I feel like you're just so over like the talk about that you just want to get to a point where you're like you know what like let's just squash it let's do something together let's give the industry what they need and what they want and just go about our day you know yeah, I mean, yeah whether it's working together or not like we can you know see each other we can um see each other i mean right. in that sense you know what i mean we can understand and nod and, and there's you know uh have she does sound like she was over the situation though but mutual respect if not a rapport or anything else you know i think at the very minimum uh there can be that that's always possible and, and that's where i'm at you know and um i made a decision that was not authentic to who i truly am and of course i regret it so that's what carrie hilson had to say and honestly i think it was great that carrie and beyonce had a moment to clear up any misunderstanding because 
they both understood how these label executives are and how they like to pit people against each other and they realized they both were played in the situation especially Carrie Hilson so I do think it was a great thing that they were able to talk and have that moment of healing mm -hmm. anyway tell me what you all think about this video down below please like comment and subscribe and share this video if you care thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time Yes, guys, please make sure to like, comment, share this video as well. All right, you guys, that's the end of today's reaction. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this video. Um, if you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, comment down below any other type of reaction video you would like me to do next, and I'll make sure I do so for you. And once again, shout out to the Impressive channel for coming out with this tea. They always are on, you know, are on... um flick when it comes down to bringing out the latest tea so yeah shout out to them and yeah if you already subscribed once again thank you if you're not please subscribe it is free and it helps me a lot it shows me that you know you, you can see more and follow me on my social media links are in the description box down below and i'll catch you on my next one bye